Hello, my name is Bruce Sheen, and today I'm going to take a look at the Mattenberg Hemispheres. Now, the classic demonstration that everybody does uses a vacuum pump, and it simply evacuates all the air out of this container. But there's a second way we can do it, and that's simply using this long plastic tube and a big bucket of water. So, let's take a closer look. The sphere comes apart into two halves. There's a rubber gasket that provides an airtight seal. A valve, when this is closed and the air has been evacuated, it won't let any air back into the chamber. Now when I hook it up to the vacuum pump, it doesn't take long to remove most of the air. So once the pressure is reduced, I'll seal it and then just take it off the pump. Alright, now we're ready to test it. Now that I've evacuated most of the air out of the container, if I try and pull it apart, <laughs> uh, going to take more effort than what I have. In this case, the atmosphere is applying an inward force of about 14.7 pounds on every square inch of the surface. For a container this size, it's going to take about 185 pounds to be able to pull it apart. Now, if we open this valve, listen, we've let air back into the center of the container. The air pressure is the same inside and outside, and then it comes apart very easily. Now I'm going to complete this experiment again, but without the vacuum pump. I'm simply going to attach this long plastic hose to the hemispheres and use something called hydrostatic pressure. An example of this might be this test tube filled with water. As gravity pulls the water down, it decreases the pressure by one pound per square inch for every 2.3 feet. The higher we go, the pressure keeps decreasing until we get to 33.9 feet. At that height, the pressure would be so low, we would actually create a vacuum. Now, if we fill this sphere and tube with water, it will behave the same way. As we lift it higher and higher, the pressure inside will decrease, which means it's going to require greater effort to pull it apart. At 33.9 feet, it would be the same thing as having a vacuum inside. Now, when we set this up, the tube is filled with water and the bottom has to be kept submerged. This will keep the water from running out of the tube. Kind of like this test tube, if I lift it up, the water runs out and air takes its place. So our next step is to fill the Maddenberg hemispheres up with water and then carry it upstairs and try out the experiment. Now the Maddenberg hemisphere and the tube are both filled with water I'm 18 feet up off the ground floor, and at this height, it should take about 100 pounds of force to pull it apart. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, let's see if we can pull go. this apart. <clears throat> now, the only thing that's holding it together, let's see, it's the weight of the water, mm -hmm. decreasing the pressure inside, so the air outside is trying to get in. Pull. See if I get wet. Oh, it's yeah. squirrel. Get <laughs> Ryan in. Yeah, yeah, just pull it apart. Yeah, uh, this, is, this is yeah, it should take over a little, a little over 100 pounds. <laughs> Can you pull it apart? You may, you may want to pull it out away from you. In case it does let loose. Man, I don't think. I love sliding. Okay, it's better. So Simon, you and I. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Here, oh, I'll do a video. Is this another team? Probably. Ready? You just got to video. Come on, let's do this. Get it. Woo! We got it. Wow! That was more than 100 pounds. Good job. Oh, my. Wow. That's okay. It's just the weight of the water. Holy Now, if we took it up, if we could get it up higher, we wouldn't oh, be able to get there's it There's no way. This came out of it. Look at your Holy feet. Holy mackerel. That was impressive. Is there green? Because you put all your body weight on it. Yeah, yeah. I find this demonstration to be more impressive than using the vacuum pump. There's only about two cups of water inside the chamber and inside that tube, and yet, if we took it up to 33.9 feet, this simple setup would be able to generate a vacuum just like using the expensive vacuum pump.